Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you for stopping in, checking us out. Today we're going to put front and rear high clearance control arms on the U-Force 1000 XL. Now we do have these on our website available, www.rngperformance.net. Um, and we also have brass bushings, which we'll show you in this video that's going to make these work on this here unit. On that listing, it may or may not say back ordered. The reason that is, is because we don't stock them. We drop ship them to save you money on shipping. So if we were to ship them here, it'd cost too much, but we're able to just charge a little bit of shipping and get them covered a lot cheaper. So that's just how that is. So you guys can feel confident in ordering. They do take about a week to ship. So be patient, they're gonna be worth it. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So next up, we're gonna have to start removing all these bolts, a couple tens there, um, these bolts, and these, this bolt here, we're gonna have to get all that stuff off of there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, now we need to take the brass bushings and put them in these arms. And they'll just slide right in like so. That easy. Now the smaller ones are gonna go in these spots right here. There we go. Now our arms are ready to be installed. All right, guys, well, <laughs> sorry I had to stop the video to figure out what I was gonna do because you cannot use these high clearance arms with the John Hester, uh, Hester Edition Elka's shocks. However, I was able to make it happen. So what I did was I made some brackets to bolt down here and the bolt to the shock. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna Grind away the paint. We're gonna run a bead of weld here, here, and another bead right up here. That'll keep these from rocking. That's not such a structural uh, thing, but it'll keep them from rocking. They shouldn't rock the way that they are. So welding, probably not a necessity, but we're gonna do it. And we had to use a longer bolt to come through here and also a spacer down in there. So that's what we had to do, but other than that, we did get this side done. We're gonna go ahead and work on the other side and get that taken care of. We got it greased one note for you guys. Um, do not tighten these bolts until you fill it with grease. Because if you do, it's gonna create a seal with that bearing brass and it won't let the grease go in. So you're gonna wanna shove it full of grease and then tighten those down nice and tight. The sway bar link will go in here. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to delete the bar or not because I have plenty of adjustment in these shocks. And um, I know John Hester says you can't use a lift with his shocks. Well, the way we did it, we technically didn't lift it. We brought it out. So it shouldn't gain lift, it shouldn't lose lift, but it is going to gain a little bit of softness. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. So. Without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get uh, get started in the front. 
All right, guys, so as you can see, we did have to remove our uh, bumper, which you will have to remove your OEM bumper as well. Um, our bumper is just held on by this bolt, that bolt, that one, and that one. So it was super easy. And I was super lazy and left the cable attached to it and free wheeled it into the ground. <laughs> pretend you didn't see that, guys. Just pretend for a moment you didn't see that. So let's get pulling these bolts here. We're gonna have to pull these for the brake line. I may. No, no, we good. All right, I'm gonna pull those. That clip. There we go. And we're gonna have to do the uh, the shock. We're gonna have to pull that. Got that. We don't have to pull that one. That's good. Um, so we'll have to pull the shock now. The front should go super smooth. Um, we shouldn't have to modify anything or any of that, but now we got it dropped. And we gotta pull these cotter keys. All right, so as you guys know, we like to use our wire cutters. If you've seen my videos before, you know that they're like the easiest way of pulling these. They just work. Pull that straight out, just like so. Now we can just start breaking these bolts, or these nuts loose, just like so. All right. Brand new machine, rusted already. I should take it in and make warranty cover it, huh? They'll say, you modified it, that's why it's rusting. You know how it goes. So, as you know, smack this, and it'll come loose. Just like so. All right. Go ahead and slide our brass bushings down in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. Go ahead and put that in there. And we we do reuse our nut. Now we can go ahead and take off this top arm. Like so. You know what? We took off the tie rod end. We don't have to. We don't have to take off the tie rod. For some reason, I was thinking that we would. We don't. That's right. I'll go ahead and take off this top one. Like so. We can go ahead and drop in our bushings. Slide our bolt through. It's raining and I got the big camera out here. So you're in the garage. We're getting this done, rain or shine. Does not matter to me. We have a big trip coming up at the end of the month. We're, we're gonna get her done. We'll go ahead and get these tightened up. There we go, guys. We got the uh, front and rear high clearance arms done. 
she has definitely got some lift definitely drives like crap but that's because i have to do the alignment still those re that rear tire it's kicked out so when you turn right the ass end it really swings out it's really bad it does ride really good without the sway bar though so no complaints there this tire here it looks like it needs to go that way where this one uh, looks like it needs to go that way also so we do have some adjustments to do which isn't hard i've done it uh before on my 800 ex it is time consuming because you can't just turn a bolt and it does pull but it also did that stock it needs an alignment and i wasn't going to align it because i knew i was getting the arms but overall it looks good guys heck yes looks darn good can't wait to get doors and then she's pretty much done so once i get it in the garage if it fits then uh i'm gonna do the alignment i want to thank you guys for stopping in and watching we'll see you in the next one peace out and god bless